In this video presentation, we're going to talk about discrete random variables and probability distribution. First, let's take a look at the definition of random variable. It's a quantity whose values are real numbers and are determined by the number of desired outcomes in an experiment. Consider a family with two kids. We want to list the sample space of all possible outcomes and the corresponding values of the number of boys. So a family with two kids, you can have boy, 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 girl, girl, boy, and girl, girl. For the boy, boy, the number of boys is two, boy, girl, there is one boy, girl boy there is one boy and girl girl there is no boys therefore the number of boys will be zero. Are there any special random variables? Generally you can categorize them in two groups discrete random variable and continuous random variable. Let's take a look at the definition of discrete random variable. It's a numerical value associated with the desired outcome and has a finite number of values or infinitely many values but countable. Now what about continuous random variable? It has infinite numerical values associated with any interval on a number line system without any gaps or breaks. Basically, discrete random variables are countable and continuous random variables are measurable. In this example, we want to we want to see if we can identify the random variable as discrete or continuous. The number of accidents on a freeway. The length of time it takes to play a baseball game. The amount of milk produced by a cow in a month. And the number of correct answers on a multiple choice exam. So keep in mind, discrete is countable, continuous is measurable. So the number of accidents has to be countable, therefore is discrete. The length of, the length of time has to be measurable, therefore is continuous. The amount of milk you measure, you weigh it, so it's continuous and the number of correct answers on an exam, you count to see how many correct answers, so that has to be discrete. Now, what is a probability distribution? It's a description and often given in the form of a graph, formula, or table that provides the probability for all possible desired outcomes of random variable. Are there any requirements for probability distribution? If we let x to be any random variable and p of x to be the probability of a random variable x, then the sum of all probabilities should be 1 and any probability has to be between 0 and 1 inclusive. Let x be the number of defective items when two items have shipped and p of x be the probability of that number of defective items. We want to use the table 
that I'm going to show you to find probability that x is equal to 2. And here is our table. Now probability that there is no defective item is given. Probability that there is one defective item is given. We're asked to find probability that two items are defective. We know that the sum of all probabilities is 1. So probability that x is equal to 0 plus probability that x is equal to 1 plus probability that x is equal to 2 should be equal to 1. Use the given probabilities. Do a little bit of basic math. And we find probability that there are two defective items is 1 over 15. Now, what is a discrete probability distribution? It's a probability distribution for a discrete random variable x with probability p of x such that probability, the sum of all probabilities is 1. And for all the probabilities, the answer has to be between 0 and 1 inclusive. How do we draw probability distribution histogram? We use the x values like midpoints on the horizontal axis. And we use the probability of x for the height of each bar of the histogram. Let x be the number of boys in a family with four children, and p of x be probability of the number of boys as shown in the table here. We want to use this table to draw probability distribution histogram for the number of boys in a family with four children. So we place the x on the horizontal axis, like midpoint, and we use the probability of each x to determine the height of each bar of the histogram. as shown here. Now, how do we find mean, variance, and a standard deviation of discrete probability distribution? Given a probability distribution for discrete random variable x with probability p of x, then the mean is the summation of x times probability of x. The variance, sigma squared, is the summation of x to the second power times p of x minus mu squared. And the standard deviation, sigma, it's always the square root of the variance, sigma squared. Again, let's look at an uh, example with a family with four children. X is the number of boys, and P of X is the probability for X for the number of boys, as a table shown here. We want to use this table to find the mean, variance, and a standard deviation of the number of boys in a family with four children. First, we're going to extend our table and compute the summation of x times p of x and the summation of x squared times p of x. Always make sure the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. Now, using the formula that I showed you earlier, we get mu is equal to 2, the mean, variance, sigma squared is equal to 1, 
and a standard deviation sigma is also equal to 1. Now we can use technology to find these values as these calculations have a great tendency to become very messy and nasty very quickly. And I will show you how to use your uh, TI calculator to find these values. In a survey of 250 randomly selected registered students in a summer session, 35 students were taking 3 units, 75 students were taking 4 units, 95 students were taking 5 units, and the rest of them were taking 6 units. So we want to make a table that has a heading of number of units and the probability of the number of units. Then we want to find the mean, variance, and the standard deviation of the number of units students are taking in a summer session. First we're going to compute the probability for each one. So probability that someone is taking three units would be 35 out of 250. Probability that x is equal to 4 based on the given information is 75 over 250 and so on. Now we're going to complete our table. We have the number of units. We have the probability for each one. Once again, I want to make sure that the sum of all probabilities is 1. And we compute x times p of x and x squared times p of x. Now, using the formulas, we get mu equal to 4.6, sigma squared equal to 0.88, and sigma, the standard deviation, is 0 0.938. I'm going to use this example and show you how to do it on using uh, your TI calculator. So how do we use our TI calculator to find discrete probability distributions in an attempt to find mean, variance, and standard deviation? First, we organize the given information in a table in two columns with the heading of x and p of x. We enter all x values in L1 and we enter all p of x, the corresponding probabilities in L2. And then we execute the command as basic computations in order to find mu, the mean, and sigma, the standard deviation. Now, if you have uh, no menu, then you have to ultimately get to one vars stat l1 comma l2 followed by enter but if you have a menu then you want to get to uh, list and frequency list and use l1 and l2 and of course there is no comma here and then you press calculate to get to the answers now i'm going to show you how to do this Okay, so now let's try to see if we can find the mean, standard deviation, and variance for probability distribution given x and p of x. I'm going to start by clearing all the lists. I can do that by pressing second plus option four followed by enter. Next, I'm going to reset my lists. I can do that by pressing Stat. Under the Edit, I'm going to pick option number 5 and then hit Enter. Now, I need to put the X values in L1 and probability of X in L2. So I'm going to press Stat. I'm going to choose option 1. 
So in L1, I'm going to put 3, enter, 4, enter, 5, enter, 6, enter. Now I'm going to place the corresponding probabilities in L2. So that was 0 0.14, 0 0.30, 0 0.38, and finally 0 0.18. Now that we enter the values, we're going to do basic computations. So I'm going to go to a stat. I'm going to arrow to the right to go to the calculation menu. I'll pick option number one. Now, if I don't have a menu, which I don't in this example, I have to have L1, L2 followed by enter. So second one for L1, comma, second two for L2, enter. So the mean is 4.6 and sigma is 0.938. Notice that n is equal to 1 which verifies that the sum of all probabilities is equal to 1. Now if you do have a menu then your list become L1 and your frequency list will be L2 then press the calculation uh, option and you will get the same result. Now in order to get to the variance I'm going to go to VARS, I'm going to go to option 5, now I'm going to pick option 4, that's where sigma is. I need to square this because variance is a square of a standard deviation so I'm going to press x squared and I'm going to hit enter. So this is the value for the variance. Now if you wish to put this in a fraction form, you press math and option 1 followed by enter and in terms of a reduced fraction we get 22 over 25. I hope this presentation helped you understand how to work with discrete random variable probability distribution and also how to use your TI calculator to find mean, standard deviation, and variance.